GTV right When they hear the name from your butter, we see the dada wala dada does it dada. We changing game, making name, rapper just all like a fara. So we gotta make it turn your nyoga sara. The problem is how you get there. That's why the term illegal immigration. If you go the right way, nobody will kick you out. So I don't even see what the force is about. I don't know why people are getting angry about it. If you are there illegally, the government of that country has the right to send you back to where you're from. I've seen even people who've like went for their visa and been turned down. Oh, and that's 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 so it's a big market for them. And exactly, and they were paying like a lot, like fifteen thousand dollars for visa application to be told no. <laughs> no, you can't get it back. It's over. It's a wrap. Fifteen thousand poof in the air, man. You should have bought cash power with it. <laughs> if I'm paying for a service and I don't get it, I'm, I'm a barber shop right now. If it's not going to cut my hair properly, I will pay for it. So if I pay for a visa and I don't get it, I should get my money back. Seems about right. At all, at all. Remove administrative fee, but let me get my money back. That's something. But because African governments do not negotiate properly with these people, we are on the wrong re receiving end of this thing. And it's bad for us. It's tough, it's really tough to survive inside than outside. Because there's a lot of things going on. Like you have your family looking at you and say, Nigga, what you got to bring on the table? <laughs> like what you got to bring on the table? Like yo, had to call her, let's say, the name was God, let's say. She went two days out of the two months or two years, and she started to make things happen. And then you can see, you can see the difference. So you, what you got, me? You were talking about, oh, if you go over there, it's easier to make money fast. No, it's not. And when you were there, you even have more pressure from family members because they feel that because you're in Europe, oh, you get money fast. And sometimes it, that's not really how it is. But when you're here and they see that you're struggling, who's going to be asking you to give me money? <laughs> no one's going to be asking you because they know the system is the same thing with everyone. But when you were there, as long as you go, the first day or the second day that you go, they think that you've made heaven. Like, every day, you only my leave, you only my life. Like, you know, exactly. That's what they always do. It's, it's going to be hard to fully understand um, why people travel, but majorly it's hope. They hope that there's something better out there. Yeah. If, I've seen people that they own the taxi, they were making money, they sold the taxi to go back where they so the journey itself, it's not cheap, it's not easy, but when you when you let the feeling of hopelessness take over you and you feel, especially social media, you see your friends in Italy, in Spain, mm -hmm. they are seemingly doing good because they are putting on the gym, <laughs> jeans, clean shoes. They don't tell you what they're doing. Exactly. Because if you don't have a skill, you, you live in Africa, you don't have a skill, you don't go to school, if you cross the border, what would you do? You sell drugs. Yeah. Whatever you do would be illegal. You can't be legal. Or it's some hard labor kind of thing. So it's still not going to be easy for you over there. But when you convert the money here, it feels as if you are doing good. It comes down again to the government. Create hope for us. Exactly. Create the opportunities here. And, and we have land mass. Instead of me picking apples in Spain, I could pick them here. <laughs> <laughs> grow them, that's what I mean. With technology, you could grow anything, anywhere. This means what? Germany never had mangoes. It was taken from Africa. Now they have it all year round. It's not seasonal anymore. So that's the kind of things our government should embrace. Technology. Creating jobs, creating sure. opportunities for the people. That's as plain and simple as that. I notice it so well here that we say government needs to do this, government needs to do that, government needs to do this. And we look at the government and say like they have the, the answers to anything. Every time, almost every single conversation, always it's like, hey, the government needs to do this, needs to step up this. They, they don't have the answers for it. Look at their track record, homie. <laughs> Like going back way, would you like really want to go? Like for example, Bax, you're working here in the in the saloon, and 
you keep doing haircuts, you're getting well paid, and then someone tells you, let's go back, man, and he explains all this, would you go? You <laughs> That now, that now, the people are giving a haircut. They used to tell me if you go to America, you make a million millionaire. You see? I said, you can use a lot of money. I said, you can use a lot of money. I know, yes, that no matter what the government will do, or the infrastructure will be there, we will be here, or if they're taking New York and they're bringing it in the country, niggas still gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta check the snow. Go swimming. Yeah, I gotta go swimming. Uh, so, you don't like being deported. <laughs> like, you're just defending the fact that he should go. No, I mean, niggas gotta go. Because, like, why are you saying this? Niggas gotta go. Why I'm saying this? Because we're all looking for comfort. I don't know that you wanna have a pretty wife, drive a nice car. Who doesn't want that in the world? Who doesn't want that? So, if I see truly, they say that it's not happening here, and here in 50 years, I'm gonna still have the same salary. Or standing at the same junction, or whatever they say, I ain't. Come on, man. I want something. I gotta go swimming. Let's say, I don't want to die. Because other than that, when you're sitting here, you're not surviving, but you're not living. Exactly. You're not trying. You know, because it, that's what I think that's, that's what the heart is. It's like, it's, a, it's just. You're, 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 you're static. It's just like. You're static. static. Yeah. It's exactly. just. You, you can see it. Your talent will be this for the next 50 years. It's almost like a prison sentence. Yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm just saying in Nigeria, a lizard in Africa will not travel abroad and not take from that. If you are not smart here, yeah. chances are that you will go over there and still not be smart. There are people that have lived there for 15 years. They are yet to buy or build a house. Their family is still living That's in Swallow. While there are people that have been there three years. No papers. They already own a home here in Africa. So once again, the lizard here will not go there and become a crocodile. It depends. I just have you on that. I just have you on that. That's not my back way, boys. That's not my back way. But you know the back way thing makes you a man. The journey. When you get beaten up in Libya, they are thrown in jail. They do hard labor. That journey transforms you. That's the school of hard knocks. That it's not the one in the US this that way it's the real school of hard knocks. That's what I'm talking about. So if I went through that, come on man, and no white man gonna stop me. Because I went through a lot. I went through a lot. GTV, right?